What's good, gamers and Call of Duty fans on the Thunderstruck Gaming Channel? It's your boy Vaughn here. What a video for you guys with just a little topic, a short topic. Here to talk about the Call of Duty trade system. First, I would like to thank Thunder for allowing me to post this video onto his channel. And now we're going to talk about the topic of the Call of Duty trade system. So what had me thinking is Destiny and Call of Duty are very similar. I don't know if you guys played Destiny, but I remember playing Destiny back back when it first came out. Um, they're very similar, not just because of the specialist characters and everything like that, but with the supply drops, the Black Ops 3 supply drops. It's basically a gambling system that Destiny also had with the Ingrams. The Ingrams was basically like a little thing that you just turned in, turn it in and get something out of it. It could be a weapon or armor piece that you would use for your character. For those that understand that played destiny and still do play destiny you will understand the pain of getting an ingram and turn it in and actually getting a weapon or uh armor piece that you did not want basically you will get like let's say you're using a titan you'll get an armor piece for a warlock and you didn't need that armor piece but your friend has a warlock and he has a titan like armor piece that he's not using that you want you will be able to trade it, trade back and forth to get, you know, make each other happy and get the items that you want, you both want, actually. And how would this work in Call of Duty Black Ops 3 right now? It worked perfectly fine. It actually, it actually would have worked a lot better in Advanced Warfare because there were so many guns in Advanced Warfare that everybody was in the market for that they all wanted. With Drifter making his video about the supply drop and letting us know on the percentages of getting items in a supply drop, and we all just found out that getting a weapon in the supply drop is a 1% chance. This made everyone mad. It actually still has everyone mad right now. And also finding out that it will cost you about 50 plus dollars to even get a weapon. And not to mention it could be a duplicate weapon of a weapon that you already have. This is another thing that pisses people off. So with a Call of Duty trade system in the game, add into the game, it will make everyone else a lot happier because... Let's say you open up your supply drops and you end up getting a, let's say, a fairy sword or something like that. And you already have it or you don't want it. You can use that fairy sword and let's say you could put it on a trade block. You can put it on a trade block like a sports. And if somebody wants the fairy sword, they can hit you up or, you know, offer you a trade for like an item that you want. And then you're basically be making that trade right there. And this will make the community a lot happier just from adding a trade system into the game because as of right now the community is not happy with activision or well not treyarch anymore because we just found out it's all activision doing about the supply drops and everything like that and making it so rare to even get an item in the supply drops so like i said it would make the community a lot happier adding the trading system to the game could actually boost the sales of supply drops because it's going to have people a lot more happier and willing to buy supply drops because they know if they get an item or duplicate like, like they get an item that they don't want or a duplicate item they will be able to just trade it away put it on a trade block and get something that they want and this actually will be a lot beneficial let's say in the future the near future of black ops 3 because of the fact of we know we're going to get more guns we know we're going to get more melee weapons which they shouldn't even be putting up too many melee weapons in the game uh, that's, you know, revolved around guns. But that's besides the point. They will be putting more weapons in the game. And that will have more people actually getting supply drops to try to trade away old weapons for the new weapons that people don't want. I did say it before. But like I said, adding the trading system to the game will make the community a lot happier. And still keep money in the pockets of Activision. And it will not hinder the sales of Activision's supply drop system at all. Because there will always be someone or a YouTuber, you know, to actually want to buy COD points for whether they just like opening up supply drops for their channels or they just like opening up supply drops. And, you know, they like the gambling system to try to get something and trade it away. It actually could raise their supply drop sales, like I said, because a lot of people is definitely going to be on the market to try to get something that not everyone has and that they don't want and they want to trade it away to get something that they want so it could just be them getting like you know the hg40 and they don't want it they want the sniper sniper rifle they trade the hg40 away for the sniper rifle just like that and that simple the community is happy 
everyone's happy with Treyarch just from adding this little system in the game. Even though we know there's a lot more things that they could do to this game to actually make everyone a lot happier, but this is just the first step. Now, I hope you guys like the idea of the Call of Duty trade system because this is a system that could have worked in Destiny and Advanced Warfare to make the community a lot happier. So with all that being said, I want to know your, your thoughts on the Call of Duty trade system. Do you guys think Activision or Treyarch has even thought of this? Do you guys think it would work in the community and how successful would it be to make people a lot happier to get their weapons and everything that they want? Thanks again, Thunder, for allowing me to upload this video onto the channel. Now, if you guys like the video, leave a like and I'm pretty sure my link will be in the description down below so you guys can make your way to my channel and check it out. And if you guys like what you see, you can sub and definitely give me some feedback on my videos. I'm trying to get better every day at doing this. So thanks again. I'll check you guys later. Peace, YouTube.